Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Land, please, with Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. That's me. Hate seeing the win streak solo. Original, you know, I, I've been on this run lately, P3CPAMFL, where I've been doing like two Isaacs a day, which is enough to, like, recording, not releasing. Sorry to get your hopes up. But, um. Is that, that's my creep. Okay. Um. Today, today feels like a three Isaac sort of day. Because you don't want to. You, you want to have as much ooh, chance to get past the the negativity, the inevitable negativity of a streak's end, as you can. It's good. You know, it's a good thing that we're, we're doing another one today. Plus, like, I think we were pretty blessed. Our last one was mighty easy. Um, and, and really didn't even come close to going even slightly wrong. So, um, we're, we're pretty happy about that. But yeah, it's still, it's a Wednesday here. It's still Wednesday morning. In case you're wondering, how is, how's the sleep schedule coming along? Dude, I mean, I don't know what to say. My, my body now w wishes to wake up at 7.30 a.m. Which I think is, is honestly, like, really good. It's a bit of a foreign feeling for me. But at the same time, it, it requires me to vindicate my parents and, in fact, admit that they were right. And eventually, like, oh, when, you're get, when you get older, you're not even going to want to sleep in. That's not what my parents sound like at all. By the way, I don't know why I would default to that kind of voice, but... You got to hold the baby. That's, that's from Seinfeld. No. Well, we'll think about it. Because the, the thing is, we don't want a massive speed downgrade. However, we really want uh, a little HP. Not exclusively for the deal with the devil, but it, it would definitely help either way. Um, but, I mean, really the question. You, you got to tease apart the question in situations like this. What's the question? I guess the question is, what's more valuable? Having the chance to take a deal with the devil that only, uh, that is much more takeable, could be amazing, could be trash, or... 0.3 speed. I honestly think the answer might be 0.3 speed. I don't think lard is a very good item. If we, if we had like two spirit hearts, I'd probably consider it, but with five... I think we're, we're okay to let it roll like this. Here's the thing, like... You, you have to consider the cost when you take a deal with the devil. But an item that's worth three spirit hearts is probably worth three spirit hearts whether you have five or whether you have twelve. In most circumstances. So if anything, we should probably just be taking less deals with the devil in general that are, that are borderline. Plus we got a strength card, so it completely <laughs> validated our experience. Um, to begin with. So we we don't want either of these, really. We're happy with the straw. But while we have the strength card, we might as well use Guppy's Paw. Um, just as, uh, you know, we, we get a Guppy item, we can deal with the Devil Precedent, and we can move onwards here. But yeah, pretty... It's... I feel weird. I mean, there, uh, yeah, this is great, actually. There's a couple of things worth acknowledging in what I'm about to say. We will roll Satanic Bible. That's that's your, your give me a win card. Or, or book, I should say. Um, the first is that, you know, we, we're ready for the baby. Nursery's been set up forever. We got all the the bottles and sanitizers and formula and pumps and clamps and... I was gonna say whips and chains to keep going on the... On, like, the s &M camp, but then, you know, it, it's, let's, let's not mix metaphors like that. Anyway. We're, uh, like, we're ready. Everything's set up. But I also want to add a second caveat. That's that, you know, my, my experience with pretty much everything on Earth is that you can only be as ready as you can be in advance of actually experiencing something, you know? So I, I would say that for now, hey, we, we, we're actually good here. Don't use your key back there. So I think, you know, you can read all the baby books so you can watch all the baby videos and stuff like that. But, you know, and, and I think that's all helpful. But at the same time, at some point, you know, you, you hit a maximum kind of like asymptote where your learning doesn't actually increase um, until you, you, you find yourself with some on-the-job training. So that, that's kind of where we're at right now. The other thing I want to say is that, like, honestly, like, from the, 
perspective of myself has been the, an insanely easy pregnancy. Kate has done probably 90 to 95% of the duties. I mean, I'm not talking about just the, <laughs> you know, growing of the child, but like ordering all this stuff, researching what stuff to order. Like, my job has been insanely easy for sure. That being said, it does feel weird to be like, you know, we're going to have a child any minute now, basically, and not be spending all of your time getting ready. But it's kind of like, what do you? What else is there to do, you know? You're, we're just kind of in this weird waiting period. And I, I don't mean that in a negative way, it's just... You know, I think that I'm, I'm feeling almost like, in a bizarre way, I'm kind of feeling like guilt. That's like, oh, why, why am I recording YouTube videos right now when I could be getting things ready? But I'm like, there's nothing to get ready. I don't know. I guess I could cook like a big pot of soup and then freeze it. That's, that's probably a good, maybe I could do that tonight. The problem is you don't want to put a big pot of soup on and then... You know, you're like, ah, oh, my water broke, and you're like, ah, oh, crap, but I, but I got the chi I got the good chicken stock. You, I mean, obviously, you would just leave, but, you know, you might be in the hospital for, like, you know, two or three days, so you want to make sure you're leaving it on low. <laughs> you don't want to leave it on simmer. No, don't leave your stove on when you leave the house. I'm sure there's people that do it. They're like, oh, you know, I, I've got my soup simmering, but I'm going to, like, run to the grocery store or something for an hour. Honestly, I would say, like... 99% odds, probably 99.9% 9 .9 odds, nothing would go wrong, but I'm not willing to take that chance. Not even close. Alright, we're, we're getting out of here. It's a very fast run, but we're not really rushing it, we're just skipping uh, dead end rooms for the time being. One of the few rooms where we're like, I wish I still had the straw, but... Anyway, it's kind of weird, you know? It's the uh, it's that nagging feeling like... I mean, you know what? I, here's, a, here's a good way to describe it. You know you're about to have a lot of work. You're going to be very, very busy very, very soon. However... Um, you, you So you, you think... like I, I know I said it's a good way to describe it. I haven't really elegantly done so yet. Um, you know you're about to have a lot of work. So, in your head, there's an element of like, oh, I should really like get a head start on it, but there's nothing to be head started, you know? You're just kind of, you're just kind of waiting. So, I, I guess I'm over the guilt for now. And that's all I got, again, anecdotally, I'm not really getting up to too much. <laughs> just a lot of recording, and uh, a lot of... Uh, A lot, of, a lot of hanging out, a lot of making sure Kate's okay, a lot of Googling. That's about it. So I, we could just end the episode right here if you trust that I'm going to get a win. You don't? Okay, well, we'll keep it moving then, but I resent it. I resent it. I don't resent it. Don't hit me. I will say it's a great time of year. From the perspective of weather, <laughs> why it sounds like a Federalist paper. Um, deep cut, right? Anyway, well, not really. A deep cut for a Canadian, I suppose. Um, we're, we're getting into hoodie weather. I'll tell you, hoodie weather is the best weather. Why? It's just, it's like wearing a blanket. I think, like, don't get me wrong, understand, the, the hoodie look, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't work, right? But from a comfort standpoint, I don't think anything comes close. Like, if you ask me what's the most comfortable clothing, I think I would honestly say hoodie plus sweatpants, even more than, like, silk pajamas. I'm not, I don't, I don't like the feeling of silk on my, I mean, it's not bad. But it's not my favorite kind of sensation, is the feeling of, like, silk on my skin. I don't know, I don't know what 
uh, kind of psychic damage has been done to me. But I'm like a stiff cotton undershirt and then a hoodie on top of that. And then thick sweatpants. That's my... That's my comfort ideal. Seems a little bit over the top, but... I don't know, to be honest with you... I'm more comfortable wearing more than less most of the time. Like, I think I should get some Spanx. I'm... <laughs> are they... Do they still make Spanx? Spanx is, uh... It, it, it became a, a fashion phenomenon in, like, the mid-2000s. Maybe the early 2010s. Um, it's like a... What's the word? It's like a spandex kind of girdle. So it, it reshapes your body in the sense that... It, like, I've never worn them. They, they tend to be made for the... You know, the women's clothing market instead of the men's. And the men's clothing market is called a girdle. But, and it's, you know, looks like something Van Helsing would wear. Book of the Dead. Hey, I wish we hadn't taken that. I, I, we, there was no reason really to have taken that. Um, we have not been to any of our special rooms, though. Let's, let's go back and get them. What do you think about Magic Mush? We did get it on our last run. There's a chance we, we might have it sitting in our pool here. Um... I don't know if Spanx are still around. That's the long and short of it. I'm just going to tell you. I don't know if Spanx are still around. But I do like clothes that keep my things where I want them to be. Something more comfortable about that than just letting it all hang out. Maybe that says something about me, though. I don't know. We don't need to get into this. It's getting a little too personal. <laughs> you know what needs to make a, a reappearance? Modular pants. We, uh, the, when I was younger, modular pants were all the rage. You'd have, uh, tearaways, which are, are pants that are, like, track pants, but then they have buttons up the side, so when you're ready for gym class, you just rip off your tearaways. And then you got shorts underneath. We also had, the. Uh, I don't even know what they're called. <laughs> like, zip-off pants, where there was like... At, at the short length, there was a zipper, and then there was a second piece of extended legwear to turn shorts into pants. But at any point, you could fiddle with that two-way zipper and turn your pants into shorts. The only downside is, like, sometimes you would, like, lose the... the legs. And then you'd have, like, now it's just a pair of shorts with a weird zipper at the bottom. Maybe it was just me. I was a very forgetful child. I lost a lot of stuff. Alright, we have three and a half spirit arts. It's, it's a modestly spooky situation here. I am the master of wa walking diagonally. I thought I got hit there. I got very afraid. But it was just a luck upgrade. So I wanted to get to 30 cents, because 30 is a, a nice round number for the shop here. We, we need some kind of uh, damage improvement. I think we will still live regardless, but our quality of life will be um, suspect. Rotten baby fly? Rotten baby fly, thank you. Uh, that, that's really big, though. That's really huge for sure. But yeah, whatever happened to modular pants? Come on. Come on. With the, with the curse of the blind and the items that uh, take up the space bar when we already got a space bar item. Come on now. Come on. I feel like we're way more about uh, stylish pants right now than, than we are about functional pants. I want, I want cargo pants. I want pants that have like 900 pockets. I don't really, I guess, because I... I mean, I could use one more pocket. I'll tell you. So I gotta... What do I carry in my pockets? It's one of those things that, like, baby boomers would tell you not to announce because it makes you a target for robbing. I've heard that <laughs> before. <laughs> Don't tell people that you carry your wallet in your pants or they'll rob you. Everybody's got their wallet on. People are walking around with, like, $1,500 in electronics in their pockets. Oh, no, I'm worried someone's going to steal my credit card. I have to make a phone call to, to Visa that they're... Okay, sure, it's canceled. I, guess, I, I, I mean, getting... I've, I've never been mugged, admittedly. I'm not saying it's like no sweat. But all I'm saying is that the biggest problem with the... 
I think losing your wallet in 2020 is, aw, oh, crap, all my ID. Way less about, like, oh, you know, I had a $20 bill in there. I don't know, it depends if you use cash more, but anyway. Um, so I carry cell phone. It's a pretty big cell phone, I'll admit. Carry uh, wallet. It's not a huge wallet. It's a pretty compact wallet. I don't keep Costanza receipts in it or anything like that. Uh, and I, I don't carry cash because, I mean, I didn't even carry cash before the pandemic. But now people look at you like you're insane if you try to pay with it. Um, and then I, I carry, like, my, my keys on, like, a, I don't know what you call it. It's like a, it's like a, not a pouch, but it's like, it kind of looks like a wallet, but then it's got like hooks on it, and you put your keys on that. Um, so I, I would say, I mean, that's three things for four pockets, but I'm not going to sit on my phone. I'm not going to sit on my keys, because, you know, that's, <laughs> seems like a, it's bad for your, the health of your derriere. Um, and I, I used to put wallet in back pocket, but then honestly, it was just like, I'd, I'd rather sit flat. So now I carry like phone, wallet in one pocket, and then like the key bundle in the other pocket. But then both of my front pockets do look like I have like lithium. Ba I guess technically I do have a lithium battery in one of them, but they look like you know they're they're batteries that that power my locomotion. You know. So what do you do about it? I don't know. I I don't know. I guess you just accept it. It's not a big deal. But, a th you know, I, I'm, I'm going to advocate for it. I think there should be a third front pocket. I would much rather have, and this would probably lead to some hideous looking pants. I think the back pocket is no longer uh, relevant. I think you can put your wallet in your back pocket. But, I think if you really, because I used to be a back wallet Marty, okay? But I think if you really looked at it, why would you put it in your back wallet? You can't see back there, so if you're going to get pickpocketed, I think you're more likely to get pickpocketed from the back than from the front. Um, and then, secondarily, when you sit down, it's uneven and might even lead to, you know, some kind of, like, back pain. Um, regard I know, you because there's bad faith arguments. Well, not all of us carry a million dollars in cash around in our wallets. Some people's wallets are thin. Okay. Yeah, but, like, but why wouldn't you put it in the front? You know what I mean? The only reason I could think of for not putting it in the... There's two. One is habit, for sure. And then the other one is I already got other stuff that's going into my front pocket, so I don't want them to bulge out. I'll accept that. I'll, I will accept that. But, what about having four front pockets? Like, two at hip level, like they already are, and then two at, like, mid-thigh level or something like that. It's Polyphemus again. We, we needed a damage boost feel pretty blessed by this one. King Baby. Uh, we're, we're in Depths 1. Honestly, I'm going to donate. I, I, I would feel better about myself if I donated here, I think. Let's, let's be nice to the game and hope the game is nice to us. I, I, you could argue with me if you want, and, and again, I'm, you know, I'm an intellectual, I'm a rhetorician, I'm open to suggestion, I'm open to counter-argument in the marketplace of ideas. However, I just, I don't know, as someone who's been a, a back pocket Marty and is now a front pocket uh, Marty, I laugh every time I say it, I'm sorry. I don't see the, I don't see the value of the back pocket unless your front pockets are already full. And then to me, I say, hey, don't put pockets on the back, put them on the front instead. Might end up looking like I'm smuggling college textbooks around, but at the same time... <laughs> I don't know, it's just like the... You don't sit on your front, is what I'm trying to say, I suppose. So why are there pockets on the back? where you? That's where I sit from. You know what, I'm going to tweet it right now. Because I, I want to see what other people say. Instead of pants having two pockets on the back and one, and two on the front. They should have four on the front. Because you don't sit on there. You don't sit from there. They should have four on the front because you wouldn't sit on them. Uh, interested in your thoughts HMU, which is slang for hit me up. All right, let, let's see what people say about this. I'm interested. You, I want to get my, I want to get on the pulse of the the general populace. I, because sometimes the internet surprises me. 
Sometimes they take my very reasonable and well-researched takes and go, that's stupid for this reason. Well, I work at the hospital, and I keep all of my life-saving medicine in my back pocket. Okay, doctor. You think you're better than me? I, there's somebody that's going to be like, pants should have no pockets. You know it's coming. I would prefer my pants to have no pockets. All right, but I got to... My mom's not around to drive me to soccer practice. I got to drive myself to soccer practice, so... Where am I going to put my freaking car keys? And all, I shouldn't even ask, because they're going to be like, abolish cars. And I would be like, yeah, I mean, look, I look, I live in a city with great public transit. You definitely don't need a car. But at the same time, I'm not saying you should buy a car for this purpose. But I'm very happy that, you know, if my wife goes into labor early, I don't have to be like, oh, quick, get the bus scheduled, you know? If you got the option, I'm not, again, you could always just take a taxi or an Uber. Um, but do you really, I don't know. Maybe I'd rather have an Uber driver <laughs> drive to the hospital than have me be like, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. No, I don't think so. Um, I did take a taxi back from my... I, when I had my wisdom teeth removed, I always wonder. The, the, the real answer is probably that the taxi driver sees that stuff like once a month and is not perturbed by it. But in my head, I do wonder like what he thought when, you know, this guy got into his cab and was just like bleeding profusely from his mouth. I mean, he did pick me up at a dentist's office. It's not like he picked me up on Granville Street at, uh, you know, 4 a.m., but still. He didn't even bat an eye. He was not like, you okay? He was just like, oh, right away, sir. Unfortunately, my card machine is broken. No, it's not. Okay, that didn't happen. But he gave off sort of a vibe when I asked if I would pay, if I could pay with card. It was like, why do you hate me? I know they pay a little extra for the processing fees. Hold on. After this room, we should have some pants discourse. <laughs> I whistled when I said that. I haven't whistled on a word in a long time. Used to, used to be like a couple times a month I'd whistle on a word. Alright, let me see what we got here. Google, authenticate retinals. Okay. Let's see. All pockets should have zippers. Okay. Um, look, I from a practicality standpoint, I can't disagree. I don't. I think they look a little goofy, but they would keep your wallet and keys from popping out the top. Someone just said no. That's what cargo pants are for. This is what no streams does to a man. But yes, I'm here for it. I agree. Back pockets are dumb. Where do I invest? Just become vest dad and put stuff in your vest pocket. I didn't even think about that. Maybe I'll start clipping my cell phone to my belt. Four square bulges at once would be too powerful. Yeah, but they would be four square bulges that have the density of two square bulges spread out. Military uniforms have pockets at the ankles. You know, they're designed for carrying stuff, so I, I default to their wisdom on this. I've had pants like that, but the pockets are too small to fit anything but coins in them. Look, we'll make them bigger. I wear shorts with five front pockets as we speak. Five? I think one of those you're supposed to put your you-know-what in. How about bigger front pockets? I don't like it because I, I don't like a super deep pocket because then you put your wallet in and it just kind of feels like it's hanging there rather than secured, but I understand. T-shirts with pockets and pouches should be more common. I guess so, but I don't want to I don't want to put my car keys in my in my, like my t-shirt pocket. Plus, the thing is, and this is a real piece of discourse, you have like a, a, a thin cotton t-shirt, if you put something that's even slightly weighty in the pocket, you're going to end up stretching out the neckline. So I disagree with you on that, but I'll defend to the death your right to say it. I never put anything in my back pockets. I, I agree. I couldn't agree more. Now that is new tech. A lot of people saying cargo shorts. Those are cargo pants. I'll stick to my convertible pants. See, I'm telling you. Just get a purse. I mean, here's the thing. I don't I don't have anything against a purse or a, a satchel. Um, but I also don't want to ever have the infrastructure to carry that much stuff around. I want to be a three-guy Marty for the rest of my life. It's probably... I mean, for a while, we're going to be on the diaper bag train, for sure. I don't know if I've been to my item room, but I'm moving on anyway. <laughs> 
right now I'm like wallet phone keys is is all I got cuz I mean look I understand cuz I I have the benefit of piggybacking off of Kate's purse from time to time if we're going out you know and it's sunny I can be like hey can you put my sunglasses in your purse she can put some granola bars in there bear spray I have to legally I have to say we don't have bear spray which is actually true it is I, I believe it's illegal to possess in Canada unless you're going on a camping trip I know you're like, sure. No, we really don't have bear spray. Instead, we have a military-grade Hellfire surface-to-air missile launcher. So don't don't even think about trying anything. <laughs> we'll, we'll knock you out of the sky. I'm glad to see, honestly, most people seem to agree with me. Very, very few people were in the mentions there saying, like, I love my back pocket meta. I, I think back pocket is, uh, I'm not gonna say there's no uses for it. Like, you know what I do with my back pocket from time to time? If I'm at a place where you pay for parking, but then when you pay for the things in the store, they reimburse your parking, I will put my parking receipt back there because it's the thickness of a piece of paper. But apart from that, I mean, I, I would still rather just have that in the front or like, let's be realistic. I could just put that in my wallet. It wouldn't be an inconvenience in the least. I don't, I don't see much of a much of a use case for the back pocket anymore. Also, and this is like the easiest uh, favor I'm ever gonna gain. More women's clothes should have pockets. I get that there's more acceptability or the standard of carrying around a handbag, but like, you should just have pockets. Pockets are really good. Sometimes, like, here's the thing. You know that Kanye tweet about how, like, you hate when you bring a bottle of water on an airplane, then you finish it, and now you gotta babysit this bottle for the rest of the flight? I imagine that's what it's like with a purse, you know? If you go someplace where you sit down, you have to make sure that, you know, you don't leave your purse when you leave. For me, I'm just like, as long as I got my pants on, <laughs> I'm good to go. <laughs> you love when you surprise yourself with a, with a bit of a punchline. That's where you just go, thank you, brain. Appreciate it. Yeezy babysat this bottle of water. Yeezy reupholstered my airplane seat. Anyway, that's my thoughts on pants. It's very simple. The 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 t-shirt pocket. I th I think you can put your cell phone in a polo shirt pocket. I'm just not sure if I'm ready for that look yet. I'm not, I'm not at that level. This is like, yeah, I was just gonna say it's trash. And we already have um, bookworms, so I'm not even gonna pick it up. I don't think I can get down with the cell phone clip to the belt though, because like I, I I've had I've worn fanny packs in my life before. Um, you know they, admittedly, it's been two decades. But when I was like between the ages of like I would say six and twelve, the fanny pack was not considered ironic. The fanny pack was just like, hey, you're going on a field trip. We're gonna put you know, 20 bucks and uh, a couple of quarters so you can use a payphone in your fanny pack. And, like, here's a piece of paper with, like, you know, all the important phone numbers you would need on it. For real. I know it makes it sound like I'm a, you know, a billion years old, but a lot of people are, are in the same boat there. Sometimes you finish a field trip, you gotta go to a payphone and be like, Mom, come pick me up. They're talking about Beyblades. Okay. Good succubus there. Let's see, we got a little bit more pant discourse, potentially. A little bit more pant discourse. One can only hope. I lost my passport at the airport because I had it in my back pocket and my F.A. squeezed it out when I sat down. So I'm 100% in for this. So here's the thing. A lot of people, I think, are uh, victim blamers. And they would say, well, you should take better care of your passport. Yeah, they know that now, obviously. The thing is, some things can be better designed. Like, there's all. If so, you don't get bonus points from the Brain Genius Academy for being like, well, I know how to do it, you know? Oh, you've never lost anything in your life before? I don't, I don't believe you, quite frankly. 
I, th I think that there's there's room to design things better, and I think the front pocketed pants are the are the way to go. That sucks though, losing your passport at the airport. This depends where you're at. I've told this story a few times before, but um, in 2008, because it was literally like January 1st, 2008. Maybe it was 2009. Now that I think of it, it was it was a while ago. Uh, we went from my college town to Josh's town in the U.S. in Pennsylvania for for New Year's Eve. Um, you know, just one of those classic days where you'd be like, "Hey, you know, you want to drive uh, ten hours to go to like a New Year's Eve party?" And we're like, "Sure, I got nothing better to do." Ten hours each way, for the record. Um, anyway, so we did it, but I had lost my wallet that night. It's a very late 2000s story for a couple of reasons. One is somebody at the party had their digital camera stolen so every time because we were from out of the country i look the the sentiment writes itself because we were not from their uh school or their state or their country every time we left to go to the bathroom and came back in they would pat us down to be like hey we're not trying to be like rude about it we're just making sure you didn't steal her nikon cool pics camera um Anyway, long story short, at like 2.30 a.m., they were like, Oh, she left it in her car. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're cool, right? Extremely not cool. Anyway, no problem. Um, they, I don't even like to be in photos, much less take them. You think I would steal someone's digital camera? Anyway, I, I had lost my wallet um, that night that had all my ID in it. Literally, we went through the border the next day. And I was nervous. I was like, I don't have any ID. But the guy... This is post 9-11 by like a decade. But pre-requiring your passport to cross the border. Which I know sounds weird. But to get between the Canada and the US border. You could use your passport. Or you could just use like a, a government issued piece of ID. Um, anyway. Where was I going with this? I can't recall. Oh, I handed him the lanyard. You know, the thing that holds keys from my university and went, hey, I'm a student of this university, but I lost my ID in the U.S. But, you know, let me in, please. He was not pleased, but he was like, go ahead. And then Josh found my wallet and mailed it back to me the next day. I mean, it took like a week to get there, but still. <laughs> Forgot what I was talking about. Anyway, the pants discourse. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, by the way. I, I feel like I got very lucky there. Regardless. I, I, I do think, and I, I've talked about this, I still haven't come up with like an elegant way to describe it. But I do think there's almost like there's there's a a bi a self selection bias is one way to describe it, where if anybody makes a mistake at something, but you have learned it, you feel like the system is designed as well as it could be, and it's on the person to interface with it better. I think in some cases that system is is legitimate. You know, some people are just like I don't know how this works, and you're like, well, you got to put your you know, you gotta tap your credit card on it. And they're like, ah, okay, now I get it. But in some situations, I think the system could be designed a little bit better. And front pants pockets is one of them. People are really attached to the systems that they've learned to operate in. But I, I you know, me too, but I would just say that, you know... Look, not every problem with the system need, means it needs to be fundamentally redesigned from the ground up. But not... Uh, Every success with the system is because of the way that the system's designed. Some of the successes are because you've learned to work around it. You know, how many times have you seen someone use, like, a, a computer program, especially, like, at, at the enterprise level, and then they're like, yeah, I don't really know what this does, but you have to push this button to continue. Does that seem well-designed? Uh, you know, maybe it's well-designed to some extent if it's usable, but if people don't know what the button is and they're just clicking it as fast as possible to get it off the screen, I think... You know, there's maybe a, a peb cack issue and then also a, a cack issue. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be on win three here. 
Uh, pretty, pretty darn good run. Had a, had a little bit of a lull in the middle, but that's where we came up with some of our best ideas. So, you know, I'm not, I ain't complaining. Mama told me not to, I did it anyway, not complaining. I haven't thought of that song for a bit. Hey, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm still a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See you.